The Beautiful Game Portuguese, o Jogo Benito, is a nickname for association football popularized by the Brazilian professional footballer Pelé. Although the exact origin of the phrase is disputed, football commentator Stuart Hall used it in 1958. Hall admired Peter Doherty when he went to see Manchester City play at Main Road and used the term, the beautiful game, to describe Doherty's style when playing. Etymology <inaudible> The exact origins of the term are disputed. The origin has been attributed to Brazilian footballer Waldir Pereira Didi, and the presenter Stuart Hall claimed to have originated it in 1958. The English author and football fanatic H. E. Bates used the term earlier, including in a 1952 newspaper piece extolling the virtues of the game entitled, Brains in the Feet. Earlier writers used the term in 1848 to describe the game of Bagaadao, a forerunner of lacrosse as played by Ojibwe at Vauxhall Gardens in London, and to tennis in 1890. Usage Brazilian footballer Pele is credited with making the phrase synonymous with football. In 1977, he named his autobiography My Life and the Beautiful Game. The book's dedication reads, I dedicate this book to all the people who have made this great game the beautiful game. The phrase has entered the language as a description for football. It is used as a title for the 13-part 2002 series charting the history of the game, History of Football, The Beautiful Game, narrated by the actor Terence Stamp. The song Wave and Flag, rapper Kanon's Coca-Cola promotional anthem for the 2010 World Cup in South Africa, contained the lyric Let's Rejoice in the Beautiful Game. In January 2014, New Model Army released a song called The Beautiful Game in support of the project Spirit of Football. A football podcast was released with the title, The Beautiful Game. Topic. Terms used Sportswear company Nike has referenced The Beautiful Game in its football commercials. In 1996, a Nike commercial titled, Good vs. Evil was a gladiatorial game set in a Roman amphitheater where ten football players from around the world, including Eric Cantona, Ronaldo, Paolo Maldini, Luis Figo, Patrick Kluivert and Jorge Campos, defend the beautiful game against a team of demonic warriors, which culminates in Cantona receiving the ball from Ronaldo, pulling up his shirt collar, and delivering the final line, au revoir, before striking the ball and destroying evil. Nike also uses the Portuguese phrase yoga bonito, meaning play beautifully, and not beautiful game, which would be jogo bonito, as one of its slogans for football products. Nike began using the slogan yoga bonito in a campaign preceding the 2006 FIFA World Cup in an attempt to curb players' behaviors on the pitch. In collaboration with, and promoted by, former international footballer Eric Cantona who once karate kicked a fan, Nike released a series of adverts to promote a game that is skillful and dignified, not riddled with the tricks and poor sportsmanship. Sportswear company Adidas named an official match ball of UEFA Euro 2016 Adidas Beaujou which translates to, the beautiful game, in English. Topic. Further reading. Greg Bacchetti, The Invention of the Beautiful Game, Football and the Making of Modern Brazil Gainesville, Up of Florida, 2016. Topic. See also Glossary of Association Football Terms <laughs>